Good morning, everyone. I'm Jennifer Delaney, the North American Product Manager here at Neolife International. And this morning, I'm joined by John Miller, who is the Director of our Scientific Advisory Board, otherwise known as the SAB. John started his career at NASA, and he actually worked on the Apollo Moon Project, which is absolutely incredible to me. Luckily for us, he pivoted in his career into the food industry, and he's been involved in developing over 500 products in over 50 countries. So excited to have you here today, John, and you are going to talk about seasonal challenges and the herbal solutions we have for those challenges. So good morning. Hi, Jennifer. Great to see you today. Good it's to always you fun too. to be on these calls. You know, there's uh, so much to talk about and so many things that to convey. And I think this, this month's topic is particularly um, important to people, this idea of dealing with seasonal allergies. So um, it's going to be a lot of fun. I'm looking forward to it. You know, at Neolife, oh, by the way, hello, everyone. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in. At Neolife, we have a sort of a two-pronged approach to dealing with seasonal allergies. One of those is nutritional preparedness, and the other is dealing with symptomatic relief. Um, for this, uh, we do this because there's a connection between allergies and immune function, and sort of ignoring one while you treat the other or deal with the other seems uh, un un unintuitive to us, if nothing else, okay? So here's some background. You know, allergies are a reality for hundreds of millions of people every year. According to uh, uh, the statistics that we have, about 30% of all adults and maybe 40% of all children experience some sort of seasonal allergy. According to the uh, American Asthma and Allergy Foundation, um, seasonal allergies are on the increase as well. So it becomes a, a bigger challenge for everybody. For example, more than 50 million Americans um, just deal with hay fever alone. So for most people, allergies are just inconvenient and uncomfortable. Uh, they're not a, a really big challenge, but something they want to get, get to deal with. But some, it can be a vitality, being even life-threatening uh, situation. Their impact can be dramatic from restricted breathing or painful skin rashes to mildly annoying like sneezes or runny nose or headache. They can be momentary, lasting only a short period of time, or they can last a very long period of time. It's important to remember that allergies are immune system reactions. Allergies happen when your immune system senses something or perceives something that is in your body, on your body, or near your body that causes it to react. Substances uh, that cause that sort of reaction are called allergens. When you have a, a reaction to an allergen, your immune system produces these things called antibodies. These antibodies re then respond to the allergen by pr producing things called histamines. Histamines are part of the body's natural defense system against allergens, biochemicals that try to rid your body of that allergen. Some of the effects that of histamine, so are the symptoms that we have when we um, get allergies. Uh, sneezing, watery eyes, itchy, runny nose, swollen, swollen sinuses, nasal drip, those sorts of things. For many people, these can be uh, actually very serious and lead to asthmatic attacks that require hospitalization. And for the record, anybody who has such severe allergies should be under a doctor's care. Okay, that's something that uh, most people know that if they're in that sort of situation uh, that they need a doctor's care. But just to be clear, um, for some people, seasonal allergies can trigger much more dramatic uh, responses after the effect. Seasonal allergies um, uh, represent uh, reactions in the respiratory tract. That's the most common area for them to do that. Spring is thought to be the start of seasonal allergy season, but it can actually go on all year long. Um, in the Northern Hemisphere, it starts with uh, trees in the spring, so a lot of trees and things like that uh, blowing around in the air. Later on, in uh, late spring and summer, it can be grasses in the summer, late summer and into the fall, ragweed and molds anytime it's warm and damp. So all of those things can be uh, allergens, can produce these sort of seasonal allergies. No matter what the reason, though, the result is respiratory challenges. Now, it's important to note that allergies and summer colds are often confused with each other because the symptoms are so the same. 
that colds produce many of the same symptoms that allergies use. But colds are caused by viruses and not by allergens and thus are entirely different things. However, allergies can weaken your immune capacity and leave you more exposed to summer colds. This is one of the reasons why nutritional preparedness is so important. Now, Neolife can help you manage seasonal allergies uh, and uh, symptoms in two powerful ways. First, start with the idea of nutritional preparedness, and second, by dealing with symptomatic relief. Nutritional preparedness can minimize the impact that allergens have on your body. Remember, an allergic response is an immune response. Immune function is diet dependent. Every dietary deficiency causes some level of immune compromise. Essentially, a poor diet equals a poor immune system, a poor immune function, and thus increases the potential impact of allergies. Provitality is a great solution to fill those nutritional gaps and, and minimize the probability that you're going to have that sort of impact. Additionally, some nutrients are act actually function as anti-allergens. Vitamin C and D, for example, are thought of as natural histamines while polyphenols and omega-3 fatty acids are natural inflammatories and thought to help mediate allergen-related inflammatory response in the body. Very important things to keep in mind. Symptomatic relief, however, needs to address two different areas, both the upper respiratory system and the lower respiratory system. The upper respiratory system is essentially everything from about the middle of your neck uh, for men, you can use the Adam's apple. It includes the mouth and the nose, the sinuses and nasal cavities, the throat, the eyes, the larynx, and the vocal cords. The lower respiratory tract is everything from there down and includes the bronchial tubes, the trachea, and most importantly, the lungs. Symptoms of seasonal allergies can occur in either the upper respiratory tract or the lower respiratory tract or both. Important to keep in mind. Neolife thus, because there are two tracks involved here, or two portions of a tract involved here, offers help from two perspectives. First, we have RESPEX, which is for upper respiratory support, and then herbal respiratory formula, which is for lower respiratory support. Both were formulated by the Scientific Advisory Board, along with uh, world-renowned herbalists and pharmacognosists. Both reflect Neolife's polypharmacy approach, to delivering benefit, meaning that herbs are selected both for their individual benefits as well as their synergistic benefits with the other components of the formula. Both combine modern science with ancient knowledge. Both have a long history of safe and beneficial use, and both are non-habit forming, non-all-natural uh, alternatives to over-the-counter drugs. So let's take a look at each for a quick here, and we'll talk about what, can, what each contains and why they're important. Uh, Respex includes the power of 10 proven natural herbal compounds. For sinus relief, which is a big thing for people who have upper respiratory tract challenges, it includes cayenne. Cayenne opens up sinuses and promotes circulations. Uh, it contains a thing called capsicum. We have all experienced that, or certainly most of us, if you've ever eaten a food that has got a lot of pepper on it or got a lot of spice to it and had your sinuses open up and sort of get the sniffles, it's that sort of mechanism that's involved here. It's that same benefit, if you will, that's delivered in this product. It also includes horseradish, which, again, if you've ever eaten a lot of horseradish, uh, you know that it will tend to open up your respiratory tract pretty quick, make your sinuses uh, open up, make you breathe out through your nose almost involuntarily. So those are included for that very obvious and very potent benefit to opening up upper respiratory tract. We also selected things that open the airways in other ways. Thyme, for example, is an herb that has long been known to support airflow and healthy, clear lung function. Matter of fact, it's so well established that in Europe it has an what we call an e-commission monograph, which means it's been approved for use in treating things like bronchitis and whooping cough and upper respiratory mucosal congestion. It's often used in the medical and or herbal community for that purpose, and it's approved for that. Additionally, we include HISOP, which promotes, is known to promote open, open airways. Beyond that, we include slippery elm, uh, supports normal mucosal production. You can imagine that if you get 
uh, your lower respiratory tract uh, or upper respiratory tract rather out of track, you get a lot of mucus generated and when you want to rebalance that, that mucus production, it contains Yerba Santa to promote a healthy moisture balance in the respiratory tissue uh, because when you get either uh, a big increase in, in mucosal drainage or it finally dries up, you still want to reestablish that balance. Contains fenugreek, which is known to soothe and calm sensitive tissue. It's sort of like a desensitizer. In order to support overall immune function, it contains alfalfa for phyto, as a phytonutrient source, molasses as a phytomineral source, plant-bound mineral source, and bee pollen to promote uh, energy-related immune function. The combination of those things add up to a very powerful upper respiratory product, something that I use from time to time. I don't suffer with a lot of allergies, uh, maybe because I'm just lucky, maybe because my immune system is always at full flight, full capability. But uh, when I do have those sorts of challenges or somebody I know does, I certainly re uh, recommend this product. A herbal respiratory formula is the lower respiratory tract solution, right? It utilizes seven all natural herbal ingredients that are known to promote uh, benefits in the lung and the lower respiratory tract. It contains thyme, which you remember was a tie I talked about in the, in the uh, Respex, for the same purposes. Again, it is that e-commission monograph approved uh, natural herbal supplement to deal with bronchitis and whooping cough and the like. Additionally, we had cleared, include anise seed, which uh, helps keep the lungs healthy and clear, clear lung function, and elderflower, which is known for a healthy, healthy respiratory response to pollen and other airborne allergies. Again, this is another herb that has an e-commission monograph, meaning that it's been approved over in Europe for use by, in, in medical applications, this time to promote increased bronchial secretions to help keep your bronchus, bronchial uh, clean, uh, bronchial tubes clean, and to help clear the lungs. Additionally, we include nettle leaf. Nettle leaf's an interesting ingredient. It's, it's, it was used, it's one of those ancient herbs. It was used in the by first century physician Dioscorides to treat asthma. As you can imagine, a couple of thousand years ago, asthma was here, but treating it was a big challenge. And uh, the physicians of that time, like Dioscorides, saw that this particular herb gave that great benefit. Come forward a couple of thousand years, and it's still used today by modern naturopathic physicians to treat hay fever uh, related symptoms. And it's really very effective, which is why it continues to be one of their leading tools for dealing with that. Additionally, herbal respiratory formula contains a lecampe root, which is known to promote healthy bronchial and pulmonary mucosa, that's the linings inside the lung, and licorice root to support moisture balance again inside that tissue. And bayberry leaf. Bayberry leaf is another one of those ancient wisdom things. It's a traditional Ayurvedic medicine used for centuries as a, as a de decongestant. It is rich in antioxidants and anti-inflammatory factors as well, which makes it a perfect choice. And it's been shown to soothe and calm distressed tissue uh, brought on by these sorts of allergic challenges. You can imagine it upsets everything inside there and gets that tissue to uh, dancing around quite a bit um, and needs to be adjusted and soothed. So these are very important things. It's the balance of these things put together, but also the individual thing, the individual benefits they provide that, that polypharmacy we, we talk about so much that puts these things together, not just because they do things individually, but because the, the way they interact with each other, that sort of polypharmaceutical approach that enables us to get a lot more benefit than we might from those things individually. And people tell us that as well. So, you know, it's important for everybody to remember that there are two ways that you, that you need or should be dealing with seasonal allergy challenges. One of those is nutritional preparedness, right? Nutrition is the foundation of immune response and seasonal allergy challenges are in many ways challenges to your immune system. Compromised immune systems actually amplify the allergic impact. So assure your body is getting all that it needs to make sure there's none of those gaps that are going to undermine immune function. Provitality is a perfect start to that. Additionally, for natural symptomatic relief, which is often what people are seeking, you know, I want my head cold to go, my, my headache to go away or my 
sinuses to stop draining. Neolife has two full proven um, products for that. Respex for your sinuses and upper respiratory tract, easy to figure out, and herbal respiratory formula for your lungs and lower respiratory tract. If, if needed, the two can be used together. There's no reason why you can't take both. But generally, you know, most people come in with either one challenge or the other. Now, remember, both are natural and effective alternatives to help you manage those seasonal allergies. They are alternatives to the many OTC drugs that you find out there um, to address this. And it's a big, big, big challenge. All you need to do is walk into your local pharmacy or even your supermarket these days and look at the amount of shelf space that's devoted to the idea of allergies to know how big a problem it is um, throughout, uh, throughout the country, throughout the world. And know that uh, at Neolife, we can offer um, answers to those seasonal challenges that are they take different course than these OTC drugs and deal with it by delivering the things that nature provides. So something that uh, you can share with everybody and anybody anytime you want. And I think you'll have them telling you how much relief they got right away. So, um, as we go forward into seasonal allergies here, just remember you have tools to help people. And when you see that, don't be afraid to talk to them about it because you have the power of Neolife behind you. Wow, thanks, John. That was awesome. So much information I didn't even know. So <laughs> thank you. It's, um, it's good. We're going to see you again next month uh, for another 10 minute call. Good. So until then, I hope all goes well with you. And again, thank you for joining us today. And thank you uh, again to our Neolife family for joining us. And we will see you next month. Yeah, thank you, Jennifer. It's always a pleasure uh, doing these calls with you. Thanks, John. Okay, bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye.